Colfax is a small town in Grand Parish, uh, basically rural. It, it's not as up to date and modern as you say in other places, but we do have good people here and good facilities. Working with the Superfund, we're finding out more about our own area, gotten answers to questions. To live near a Superfund site would mean that there is a higher risk of exposure to different environmental contaminants. There are 53 million people who live within three miles of a Superfund site in the U.S. When I became aware of the environmental situation in which I live, uh, my first concern was for my family. We contacted some of the Superfund project members and they became interested in what we were doing. So uh, we've developed a friendship and a fellowship and a desire to learn what is going on. The Louisiana State University Superfund Research Program is a program that is funded by the National Institutes of Environmental Health Sciences, which is a division of the NIH. And the program is centered around uh, reducing the health impacts associated with exposure to hazardous waste from Superfund sites. One of the goals of the Superfund Research Program is to build resilience in our uh, community partners that we're working with. So we really want to provide data and information about what that means. We had some ideas. We thought we knew certain things that were going on, but to have it, you know, collaborated by a great university like LSU and the Superfund, shown how far these chemicals travel. That's something that they can use to help understand what their risks are and to put that information to use in their own personal health goals. We bring together biologists, we bring together chemists, we bring together physicists, public health advocates, and then community partners to help identify potential exposures to figure out how those exposures are impacting human health, and then to actually try and figure out ways and provide solutions to prevent those exposures from impacting humans and health. The health risks we, we study are actually cardiovascular impacts and respiratory impacts from inhalation exposure to hazardous pollutants that are in the air. Those hazardous air pollutants we call environmentally persistent free radicals, or EPFRs, Efforts are a combination of an organic chemical and a metal, and when they combine together, uh, they are becoming a, this dangerous radical species, for, especially for human health. And they can also be quite long-lived in the environment when they are released uh, to the environment. And particularly, com different type of combustion sources are uh, the origin of the emission of the EPFRs. EPFRs are ubiquitous. They're found in not just waste remediation, but they're found in the soil. They're found in exhaust from, from automobiles. They're found in ash from wildfires. And so our understanding of how they interact and how they stabilize and how we can degrade them over time is fundamental to all kinds of efforts across the board. We have the full spectrum where we're going from basic science all the way to what is the human health impact. And not only that, can we prevent those health impacts by blocking the development of these efforts or uh, destroying those efforts once they're formed. Louisiana has spent such a long time doing the animal work and the basic science and really brought the knowledge of EPFAS out into um, the scientific literature. And now I'm getting the opportunity to work with human cohorts here in Australia and try and add that element of how children are exposed within their own home environment to the body of knowledge that LSU has already developed in this space. We involve a lot of different scientists and it's very hard to actually step across those those sub-disciplines. And so it, it's very important and critical that we train our students to actually work across these disciplines. Otherwise, they can't tackle the complex problems like we're tackling with Superfund. We have some outreach and education programs that are part of building environmental health literacy in the community. And the Shining Light on Pollution program is one of those components. The Shining Light on Pollution program changed the way I thought about everything. It changed the way I, I use transportation. I take less cars, I ride more bikes. Um, it, changed, it changed the way I just, I live as a whole. The shining light on pollution is just one of several prongs that we're using in order to engage the community. And um, 
by bringing the students in early, it allows them to take that same message back to their parents and also to their peers. So because of that, we will be able to impact a much larger portion of the Louisiana population. I think this project is, and similar projects are very important. We are finding more about ourselves, uh, some possible reasons for some of the things that are happening here. My hope is that not only Colfax, but the state of Louisiana and other states provide a healthy, safe environment for all of our citizens and for our future. We've made some tremendous discoveries. Uh, we've, we've not only made those discoveries at a basic science level, we've made them at a level that can impact human health. We've changed public policy in some places, and we're actually developing things that we can put in incinerators that uh, will even improve the ability of incinerators to remove these hazardous components from the air. And so I think that's a tremendous bonus. We don't often see that with research, and so I'm pretty excited about those things.